If you've seen my review of The Hackdown, you might remember the big spectacle that spawned from my moving to a new house. It was hilarious and overblown. Well, I moved again, and this time I promised an even better, far more epic tribute to my old house. That uh, wasn't supposed to cut to me. Sorry, I'm going to have to cancel this big sketch. Too bad. Anyway, today's subject, Red Guy 2437812. Five, fourteen, and a half point two. Seriously, just red guy and some numbers. Does anybody actually memorize those numbers? If you do, then you have herpes. Not a very filmable location. I mean, just look at my frickin' Jaws poster sitting there on a couch. Just kind of sad, really. Anyway, I lost 20 pounds since November. Can you tell? Moving on. Red Guy 2764. God damn it, now I have herpes. And shut up, your mom sucks at segways. Is a total disappointment. Why? He is not even red. He's this whitish, pinkish, vaguely feminine color. But I guess whitish, pinkish, vaguely feminine guy doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Not Red Guy reviews PlayStation games, sometimes newer ones such as Assassin's Creed 3, and sometimes earlier PlayStation titles like God of War. As a fellow PlayStation wielder myself, this is a game reviewer I can get behind. Well, unless he's just eating Mexican food. Haha, <laughs> I made a fart joke. Your mom made a fart joke. But is he any good? He's alright, but let's bring up the reviewer Triforce and kick his teeth in. I mean, break him down. Yes, that is, that is exactly what I meant. The information is good, his delivery is uneven, the humor is mushkin, I make up words. The technicals are decent, two and a half out of four stars. Check out his YouTube page, check out my website, and follow me on Twitter, or I will kill you in the face. And that was the review. A worthy beginning for this new location. Why are you looking at me like that? You don't think I've noticed the malice in your... I... Fine, jeez, I'll elaborate. But just remember, I am only doing this for you. My webcam. You're the real reason why I do this webcam. I love you so much. When it comes to the reviewing portion, Red Guy usually works. He does occasionally spend too much time bitching, like a little bitch, and then going back and saying the game was good, even though like 60% of the video was dedicated to whining, which Martial Horror really, really hates. Even though that is exactly what Martial Horror is doing right now, when he is on the money, wait, he's on money? Well, bitch, this is a robbery. Get off that cat! Oh shit, that's a saying, isn't it? Um, he's not on any actual... You know what, let's just pretend that I edited that out and say he's exceptional. Yeah, he's exceptional, even though I just spent the last portion of the video complaining, making a total flip-flop, uh, which I was just whining about. Y you know what? Uh, satire, yeah, that's it. It's satire. Definitely satire. Shut up! Anyway, his tendency to bait and bitch only appears sporadically, so usually it is not a problem. He has a great vocabulary to work with, showing off enough gaming terminology to make him seem credible, but not to the point where he'll alienate the uninitiated. Even though he'll discuss the story too, he seems to prefer talking about the gameplay, and this extends to just about all facets of the game. Graphics, music, level design, CPU enemy variety, physics. He ties them all nicely into the gameplay. It's a solid anchor to base your format around, and Red Guy knows how to flesh it out. So positive arrow goes up. Stop falling down, Jaws poster. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to use you in the next video. Anyway, Red Guy is a good critic, and I want to stress that what he does right ultimately outweighs what he does wrong. You see, Red Guy is a good informer, but I can't say he's a good entertainer. His delivery is a little above average. It's not bad. His energy level is high, and it never seems to waver. His line reading isn't stiff, a trait I wish I had. But there isn't anything memorable about his performance, whether he's on camera or doing a voiceover. 
I think this is because he doesn't pace himself very well. Like Some Call Me Johnny used to do, he rushes through a script as if he wants to just get it done. It's too fast paced, so I would often zone out during the duration of his videos. Although when this would happen, at least I was wearing pants. Kind of a weird f***ing thing for me to say. Anyway, here's a clip that I believe showcases his abilities as a reviewer. The action set pieces can really rival the Uncharted series at times. Yeah, sure, I think we can all agree Naughty Dog beat Square Enix to the escape from the burning building scenario, but the scene is nevertheless pretty awesome, and it's not alone. I also really like the level design, especially in the shanty town, which comes up about halfway through the game. I think the game goes from pretty decent to great at this point. The shanty town is huge, and the shootouts therefore are on a huge scale, and you don't feel relegated to one point of cover. You find yourself exploring the town by necessity. It's an awesome location, and I don't think the game really lets up after that. I like that he's not too criticky, nor is he too pedestrian. He strikes the perfect balance. Now you may have watched watched that clip and thought, you know, his delivery seemed fine, perfectly natural. And you know what? You're right. That is actually probably his best video for that reason, and I would recommend you all give a look at his review of Tomb Raider for the PS3. But this is what he usually sounds like. More relevantly, I found myself constantly wondering when I would get to play as Connor. Then I could start immersing myself into the sandbox I was given. Until then, most side quests were closed, and there was no reason to try and make any money because I'm obviously not going to be able to keep it once I start playing as Connor. Then you start playing as Connor, of course, he has to go through his introductory arc that spans two more sequences. And I could live with this, but I feel as though the length of the game is not really adjusted for this. It's about 19 to 20 hours long, and of course that's really robust, absolutely worth the money, but so much less of it is spent in the actual revolution than I expected, and that's really my biggest problem with this game. It's not really what I thought it would be. When he isn't speaking too quickly, then he's just being too intense. Acorn Films is also a fast talker, but he knows when to be mellow and when to intensify his performance. Red Guy either needs to slow down or not be quite as forceful, but that is just my opinion. If he is able to master how he paces himself, the quality of his videos will skyrocket. Just like how Johnny overcame his own weaknesses and in my humble and always correct opinion has become one of the best game reviewers on YouTube. Had Johnny not improved so epically, I actually wouldn't have stretched this out so much. Since Red Guy is still a better performer than, well, me. <laughs> But I see the same potential in Red Guy that I saw in Johnny, so I have to force it down his throat in the most phallic way possible. I'm beginning to think that creepy bald guy is kind of creepy. Anyway, let's move on to the humor. Now, I don't believe I've said this before since starting critiquing the critics, but comedy is subjective. You might find him to be incredibly funny. I didn't. To his credit, most of the so-called humorous parts are weaved in neatly with his criticisms, so even when they don't work, they won't linger in your mind for too long. If you like them, on the other hand, then it will just increase the video's entertainment value. But every once in a while, Red Guy will get bold and ambitious with his gags. I usually don't groan at them, but the only one that made me snicker was the Dark Knight Rises parody, which appears in his review of God of War. I liked that bit because the camera work, the editing, and the music arrangement really made it seem like an authentic parody. This clip, on the other hand, is kind of obnoxious. Also, am I the only one who thinks that the poisoning deaths are a bit over the top? Oh, what was that? Huh, that felt a little funny. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, oh I feel I might be sick. Oh, 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 something's wrong. I can tell I'm dying. No, not yet. I'm not ready to leave this world. You'll have to take me fighting. Nothing's gonna make the lights go out for me. My strength leaves me. I know this is the end. Tell my wife. <coughs> Okay, I might have added a couple subtle tweaks here and there, but still, 
Jesus! The clip just goes on for too long, and he's trying too hard to be funny, which backfires. Also, his exasperated voice sounds incredibly phony to me. And unlike, let's say, the nostalgia critic, he can't convert phony into funny. Don't do that! So, small arrow goes down. That's what she said? Anyway, humor is definitely his weakest area. But what about the technicals? He definitely needs a new mic. I've heard worse, but maybe his delivery would seem smoother if he had smoother audio. Although at least I never have any trouble understanding what he's saying, so maybe I'm just being a bit too greedy. The video quality is really good though, and his editing skills deserve mention too. Whenever he does a voiceover, the clips actually have something to do with what he's talking about. It's an overlooked part of video reviewing that most people struggle with. So good job, Red Guy. There's another reason why I think you can become great. Unlike another reviewer whom I keep bringing up who lazily lets any clip play while he's talking regardless of whether or not it has anything to do with what he's talking about, I'll give you a hint as to who he is. He likes Star Trek, and his reviews are like 44 and a half years long. And he's my next subject. But this isn't about SF Debris. It's a good thing I didn't say that out loud, though, because if I did, people would flame the shit out of me. Whew. So positive arrow goes up for Red Guy, not the other one. So yeah, Red Guy has a long way to go, but I thought he was okay. I really do believe that one day I will probably do a quickie on him. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, then you're a pervert. Because he has a lot of potential to be great, not a pervert. That wasn't clear. He just hasn't completely made it yet. I mean, he could be a pervert. I, I don't really know the guy. Still, I definitely recommend all PlayStation users give him a look-see. Because he's a solid critic, I tend to take his recommendations seriously myself. But if you don't wield the PlayStation, then maybe he's not for you. See, this is my PlayStation remote. It even says, we, because it stands for We Love PlayStation 3, the best of the consoles, although they did spell it wrong. So my expert opinion trusts Red Guy's expert opinion. And that is my review. If you would like to watch Red Guy's videos, I shall provide links in the show more section below. Please check out my own website and follow me on Twitter where I shall reveal who the next subject is, because I did not already spoil it was SF Debris earlier in the video. Anyway, my name is Marshall Horror, and I'm here to tell you that those who cannot do, critique. Kitty. I see you doing all your kitty stuff. <laughs> Three. Oh, shit. The adventures of a kitty while I try to film.